Hey Power Users, so today we will be diving deep into collections and we will check if it's possible to create the left join known from SQL and uh, this is the data operation which should gather us information from one collection and match information from other collection based on criteria, for example the GUID or the ID or any kind of this and criteria and create a larger collection with this uh, information. So I know that uh, for you programmers, left join is something which is well known, but many of uh, you struggle with how to create this in Power Apps and probably don't even know it's possible and it's not really so hard when you know all the functions. So basically what we have there here is the, we have the two collections, which we will create as a first step. The one collection is a collection board games and the other collection is a collection with our orders, which will take a board game ID from ID in the, with the product name. Uh, let us, I will just, move those collections so this will be more obvious for you that this is the collection which we are joining the second collection so this this will be joined by call orders great let's just Push the button and let's see if the board games are there. We have three board games uh, with information in our product base, and we have five orders with the board game ID one, two, three, four, five, and the quantity which was uh, ordered. So now we will uh, want to join those tables. Let me uncomment the code and we will go step by step. This will seem to be overwhelming at first, but let's start from the beginning. We need to clear and collect new collection. Let's call it quantity with names. And in this collection, we want to have the collection orders for which we will be joining. This is the alias. I, want, I always use the aliases just to reference the them in the later steps and we will create the column which will have the record in it so creation of the column and each record with the board games with our collection board games will be in this column that's why we will we'll be filtering those uh, those records in the collection board games so we will be filtered based on our ID. So ID from here, from the collection board games, will be same as board game ID from collection orders. And we will be talking about specific collection orders. This, that's why I'm using the alias. The alias is here. Uh, it will be referencing for each row. So each collection, uh, each recording collection orders will be granted appropriate row from the collection board games. Easy? Easy? But what's happened when we will create this? Let's go and see. Let's go to collections. We have quantity with names there. Oh, and this is a mess. We have our board games still. One, two, three, four, five our quantity but here we have the record if we will go to the record we will have of course the appropriate da data so for board game 4 we will have no data because there was no board game with id4 and this is working so if this step is working we want to, to create the magic and join this collection mm, with about the nested records. So we will be ungrouping the collection. And we will be ungrouping the 
Let's cut this link. Okay. We'll be ungrouping this column, of course, from our collection. If this will code will work, it will just ungroup the the record we have here uh, in the temporary record holder and move the columns to our new collection. Let's check it. Yes, it's great. This works, of course, it works. And uh, we have now board game ID, ID and our information from the first collection. So if the information was present, we have it here. Still, we have double ID. So the double ID need to go. And now we will have to drop the column, just the the ID column, we don't, don't need two of those IDs. And let's check it. That's all. This is what happens. We have the whole code working. It's so once more, it contains of the three things. Four, four, sorry. Uh, the creation of the new collection. The addition of columns. Uh, so the first, the one collection, collection orders will be our base columns with all the columns names. We are using the alias and we create new column temporary record holder, uh, which will hold the, the uh, other collection, the collection board games uh, based on the ID. If ID is the same. ID, of course, of this record is the same as uh, board game ID. Mm, sorry, ID of record from here is same as board game ID from exact same uh, record. That's why we're using alias. Or you can use the disambiguation operator, but I'm used to aliases. I don't want to go into specifics. And after this, we want to ungroup this record, which was created with, with the filter. So we are ungrouping this thing, this record. And after that, we are dropping one of the IDs. In this case, the, the, the normal ID, because the board game, the board, there is much more board games in here instead of other IDs. So that's why we want to drop the drop this id that's all the code works thank you you can use it it should be quite useful in many situations thanks see you later oh of course you can you can see my other power ups videos i'm i'm touching on the simplest and the most interesting topics i can find and just all all the on all the levels you can find and something interesting for you see you